If you ever watched someone use the typewriter to type a paper, or if you did it yourself, you had learned a certain set of techniques that would be used to make good typing. When you come to the computer, you might have transferred those same techniques unless you took a class. Well, lots of folks haven't taken a class on how to use the computer, so they end up using typewriter technique on the computer. The purpose of this little demonstration is to show you the difference between typewriter technique and computer technique so you can do your papers more efficiently using computer technique. Although I'm demonstrating this with Microsoft Word 2007, it applies to any word processing program. Here's what a typed version of a paper might look like. It looks perfectly fine. There's a head ing at the top, and then a title, and then double spaced text. I used silly typing, can you tell? It was a lot faster. And if you turned in a paper that looked like that, it would be perfectly fine. But to the computer, what you really have is the symbols that you see are formatting marks, and what you have is uh, a mess. There are lots of symbols in there that are unnecessary. And so the point of this video is to show you how to reduce those extra symbols and reduce your workload as a result. Well, the, the problem is that a computer is not a typewriter. They're two different things, and they should be used differently. Neither one is right or wrong. They're just different. Here are the techniques we're going to use to use computer technique instead of typing technique. First of all, well, in Word 2007, we'll set a no spacing style. There are preset styles, and we have to set a certain one. And then we'll use margin settings to find the edges of the paper, line alignment to choose left, center, or right aligned, line spacing to choose between double spaced and single spaced. And we're going to keep typing until we get to the end of a whole paragraph. What we're going to make will look like this. We used right alignment up on the head ing lines to right align the paper. And then we chose the title to be centered. And we made it double spaced so that when we pressed the Enter key once, we came straight down to our new paragraph. And that new paragraph was first line indented so that every subsequent paragraph would automatically be first line indented. Here I have a Word 2007 document open. If you were using an older version, like Word 2003, the biggest difference you will see is that the word file has turned into a button. and the old menu bar, which you used to click and get more words, has turned into a ribbon with pictures on it. That's the biggest difference. A lot of the features are located in the same place, and the transition between the two is not so difficult. I'll try to include those other features as I go along. We have to turn on the paragraph symbol, which is called the Show Hide key. Show Hide key is in the Home tab paragraph group. It's the backwards letter, letter P. That's an editing mark. If I turn it off, I won't see my documents. Now, if you had turned in on paper a paper printed with all those formatting marks, they would not show up when you print they only show up on the screen. But if you turn in your paper electronically, it would look like this for the teacher if the teacher turned on the formatting marks. Let's pretend that the teacher wants the heading information right aligned. I'll right align my text. Oops, step number one. Oops, I forgot. Step number one, 
click the no spacing style. That's step number one. Then we can go back and click right align and type your name. I can't type, can I? And the date. What did I say? September 7th, 2010. I think that's the date I used. Oh, an English 101 class. Okay. English 101. That's what I said. And you notice that now I did press the Enter key twice so I could get to the new line because I have it single spaced. I'm going to make two changes now. The first change is that I don't want right alignment anymore. I want center alignment. And the second change is that I don't want single spaced anymore. I want double spaced, which is on the line spacing button. And I'll make double spaced. I'll type my title. The computer will stay with the same line alignment until you change it. I'm now going to change back to left aligned. And you could press the tab key on the computer once to move over to start typing. It's not wrong. It will automatically move you over a half an inch. It will insert an arrow so you know you have a tab key. Not wrong, not the best technique. Let me press backspace to get rid of it. Let me set a first line indent, which if I come up to pretend this is a house, pretend this is the chimney of my house. See, here's the first floor, here's the second floor, here's the chimney. Come up to the chimney of the house and put the very point of your mouse cursor in the chimney of the house. The tool tip will say first line indent. And now click and drag over to the half inch marker on your ruler bar. Oh, you don't have a half inch marker on your ruler bar? Oh my goodness, we can fix that. Let's go up to view ruler. I want to change the view. What do I want to do? Add a ruler. See, that shuts it off. That turns it back on. View ruler. Let me go back to the Home tab just so it's there in case I need it. And now I'm ready to type my text. Now if you're going to type like I do, don't use too many semicolons, which is your right baby finger, and don't forget to press the space bar between your words. Ready? At the end of the line, you just keep typing. Don't press the Enter key. The computer will word wrap for you at the right time so you can go to the new line. Don't forget a period. And then you'll press the Enter key to go to the new paragraph, which will also be right aligned for you. And you press Type again. You won't have to do anything special for every paragraph. It will automatically start correctly. If you're noticing those little dots between the words, that's because those are space bars. And I actually got a space bar at the beginning of my paragraph. So I'm going to click there and press the delete key to delete to the right or from the right. And one other thing that I'll just tell you quickly, although we won't continue with it, is that if my paper now is done and I need to go to the References section, I will just press Control Enter. I'll have to set my hanging in my first line indent back to zero, and then I can center it again and type References. This is the way to start working on an essay using Microsoft Word 2007, but it's using computer technique instead of typewriter technique. Have fun!